welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to season two. And here we are at the Kansas City Royal. I'm not entirely sure what this dugout is. This an away dugout? Why are we in our home uniforms if this is not our home clubhouse? And why does it look like a minor league clubhouse? I thought we were in the majors. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I don't like that. But anyways, we're about to begin the offseason. So let's hop on through that. Looking at people who've retired. Gerard Dyson retired. He had pretty solid on base stuff this year. Wade Davis retires. I don't know how I feel about that, but due to ability, he retires. And Irvin Santana retires. That's a, that's a big one. That was a starting pitcher this year, and he was retiring due to age. Maybe we make some offseason moves and pick up some pitchers, and maybe we stay. But truth be told, I'm pretty sure we're leaning towards leaving. Anyways, if you guys are new around here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We bring MLB The Show Road to the show every single day. Hit the thumbs up button if you want more content, and I'll keep bringing it to you. Anyways, let's see if anyone else significant retire. Finally, uh, that uh, it, it had it had to be done. All right, it's a lot of it's a lot of money. Um, anyone on the Yankees? Only one player on the Yankees. Uh, no one significant on the Rays. I don't think. I know I'm gonna miss miss somebody. Y'all gonna flame me? Rich Hill, I saw it. Uh, Tommy Malone, White Sox, Ramon Russell. Shout out to Ramon Russell. You know he tried his best, but ability he didn't have the ability he didn't have what it takes to cut it here in the majors it is what it is you know what uh great community leader manager so maybe you have a future in that ramon russell uh in mlb the show that that could be for you steve conrad uh i feel like i've had many roads to the shows when i'm on the same team as him uh nelson cruz retiring jay hap who else angels kurt suzuki uh, Ross Detweiler, Matt Joyce. I feel like Matt Joyce has retired six times. Matt Carpenter, Wino, Charlie Blackman. You see, and already after one year, we're going to be seeing a lot of rookies. By year two, it's going to be a lot. It's, half the league is going to be players we don't recognize. So we'll move from that. Miguel Cabrera, I didn't even see him, but he's obviously retired since he's in the Hall of Fame. That's a good one. We'll go ahead and move from that. And it's time to get paid. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were to guess right now, let me know in the comments. If you were to guess, looking at my statistics, all right? Looking at my statistics, you see my Hall of Fame bar. That's already like one eighth, all right? After one season. Looking at my statistics at one year in the major leagues, how much do you think I should get paid? How many years and how much do you think I should get paid? What do you think the AAV should be? 58 games only 58 games in our rookie season we're 19 years old or 18 i don't know when you age in this game but we are 18 or 19 years old with 58 games 232 at bats we obviously came up after the all-star game 409 batting average 95 hits in 232 at bats not plate appearances or at bats not yeah exactly that 58 runs seven doubles three triples 47 home runs 82 rbis not great on the base pass. 571 stolen bases, but I wasn't controlling any of that. 21 walks to 25 strikeouts is ridiculous. Slugging over 1,000. OBP 463, 1.5 OPS. All right, the numbers speak for themselves. We grind into a double play at the end in the last episode. I'm still a little bit pissed off about that. Can't believe we only had two all season, and then we grinded into a third. Uh, 169 assists, 50 putouts two errors we did make two errors 991 is not terrible but we did make two errors i would like to improve on that this year uh i feel like i made a lot more errors than two at shortstop uh if, if i'm being honest i feel like i made more than two errors uh but anyways that's the statistics if you had to guess what would you say let me know down below in the comments if you're right no, you guys are going to cheat. I'm not even going to say that. Because if I say that, you're just going to watch and then come back afterwards. Uh, so anyways, let's just hop into it. We got significant dates. We'll just sim through the offseason. And let's see. Let's see what kind of offer the Kansas City Royals want to give me to persuade me. Me, Jimmy World, who just killed it. Mr. Steal Your Girl, a.k.a. Cookie Swirl, to stay with the Kansas City Royals. If not, if this is blatant disrespect. I don't care if I'm one year into the league. This is blatant disrespect league minimum i'm out i'm out of 5000 that's all i'm gonna say i am out of here if this is blatant disrespect we're out of here that is blatant disrespect for five they're offering me league minimum league minimum i don't care that i'm 18 years old 
I'm about to win an MVP. I'm about to win a trip. I'm probably going to hit for the triple crown this year. And you offer me 570, half a million dollars. Half a million dollars. They're, y'all signing international free agents for like four mil signing bonus. I don't even get a signing bonus. Y'all are just offer me one million dollars. Half a million dollars. I'm sorry. This is disrespect. Blatant disrespect. Look at our payroll. 72 million. Our budget is 138. We have 77 available. I get maybe they want to put some players around me. But you know what's going to happen? They're not going to put any players around me. They're not going to put any players around me. Let's take a let's take a look at that at shortstop. I uh, bet though we have Bobby Witt, of course, who moved to second. That's awesome. Get rid of Raul Mondesi Jr. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. I like him, but I'm the starting shortstop. And Bobby Witt obviously is versatile enough to play second base. Look how many shortstops we have. We don't need this many. I I I need to I need to take a second to think and ponder this over. I I, I definitely need to because really quickly, this is the most important thing right here. If we don't have a good rotation, I'm Audi. I'm Audi. I am Audi. I am all, I am begging for a trade. I don't care what it takes. I am out of Kansas City. This is our rotation right now. JC Cloney is our ace, 80 overall. Danny Duffy is our number two, 80 overall. Tanner Hulk. Hulk. I'm just, I can't pronounce his name. 73 overall. Mike Miner, 73 overall. Andre Sotilet. Sotiet. Not sure where he's from. Sotiet. 70 overall. This is our starting rotation right now. Bullpen is decent. Bubich has some good potential. Kalish, D potential. That's not really good. James Paxton is in our bullpen. I, I don't understand. I bet you someone here has got like 40 stamina. Uh, Scott, decent. Greg Holland is 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 old. Greg Holland is old. 36 years old. We got to get him out of here. Out of here. Kyle Zimmer could be worse. Josh. I like Josh. I like I like what I saw from Josh this past year. 75 overall. Zimmer's a C potential, but he's an 81, so I like that. How you a C potential, but you got a B great? I don't get it. Jake Jun Jacob Junis. We got to make some improvements to, to to our rotation and bullpen. So essentially, what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna have a choice in what I get to sign for because then will be the show said so. I can't refuse. They own me for six years. They own me. I can't negotiate. It's just that is it is what it is, but essentially what's gonna happen? Essentially what's gonna happen? I'm gonna take this contract offer. I can't even I can't even I can't even view off. Uh, I was about to say I can't even view offer. Uh, no, I, I want that. I is this thing broken? I'm I'm moving the middle option and the bottom is moving. I'm moving the bottom and now the top is moving. Okay, so obviously if I move this, the year moves. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to pretend we didn't just see that. Uh, which one was it? So here's the thing, MLB The Show. This is blatant disrespect, Kansas City. This is blatant disrespect. You got generational talent. 19 years old, batted 4-9 in, in 50-something games. 47 home runs, 82 RBIs. Just absolutely killed it. Look at our attributes. Look at our contact max. Power 89-84. Vision 83. That's, that's without our equipment, which I don't even know if it works. 60 fielding will work on that. Don't you worry about it. Arm 89. We got it. We got the cannon on the shoulder. We be letting it loose. 89 speed. We really out here. And y'all offered me half a million? Lock me up. Lock me up like San Diego locked up Tatis. Lock me up like Atlanta locked up Acuna and Albies. Lock me up. Y'all want me to stay in Kansas City? Lock me up. The Royals decline your offer. Encounter with 615. Oh, from what, 570? So 45K more? That's what I'm worth to Kansas City? That's just disrespectful. That's disrespectful. You have to be more realistic. I am being realistic. I batted 409, which is unrealistic. I deserve unrealistic money. I, I've, I've lost interest. Sign me for 570. I don't care. Do what you got to do. Sign me for 570. Guess what? We're out of here. We are out, we are out of here, San Diego. We are... We're, we're, Excuse me, we're out of here, Kansas City. We're out of here. We're out of here. The blatant disrespect, they renewed your contract for one year for 571. We're done with Kansas City. That was the most disrespectful thing you can do to somebody who batted 409 in half a season and have 40-something home runs. That's disrespectful. I feel cheated. I'm disgusted. This is the team I play for. 
This is the organization I play for? That's 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 cheap. That's poverty. That that's poverty baseball. I don't want no, I want no part of it. So obviously the offseason is over. We're now in spring training, which means this is our rotation. We move Paxton from the bullpen to starting, which makes sense. So he's our number one guy. That's a, that's a good move. I don't know where he was. Was he always in our bullpen? JC, Danny Duffy, and now we have Brad Keller and Christian Javier. 76 and 75. It's a little bit better, but I believe we have 75 million available. And this was the, these were our best two options this year? Junis, we still got. Hauk is in the bullpen now. Mike Miner, this is spring training, so they're all fighting for jobs. Mike Miner, Keegan Aiken. What is this move? Andres is in the bullpen. Jake Kalish is still here. Daniel Lynch, okay. Okay, we still got Bubich. Cole Wynn. Uh, Zimmer, Stalmont, Kenny Car Carrillo. Called up, B potential. Okay, solid. 74 overall, he's 25. He's pretty young. Scott. We still got Scott. Greg Holland, still here, 36 years old. Garrett Whitlock. Is this a new signing? He's a 64 overall, so I don't really care. Jake Newberry, still here. And John Schreiber, uh, we also picked up from the Red Sox. So we didn't splash. We didn't really splash. We didn't pick up any big pieces in the rotation. Did we pick up any any pieces in the in the lineup? Who did we pick up? So Malik Smith replaces Gerard Dyson. I mean that's not bad. That's not bad, right? That's that's a solid move. Witt still at second. I'm at short at first base. Ryan O'Hearn, he's, he's been here. Benny still in left. Dozier at third, still here. Ryan McBroom still here. Alberto's our DH, and Brian O'Keefe behind the dish. So a call up. Hansa Alberto, we still got Jason Castro. We picked up Jason Castro. I like Jason Castro. Solid catcher. Solid backup catcher. Peter Maris, call up. Cam Gallagher. Kyle Isbell. Aram. Like, where where did we spend money? Where where did we where did we spend money? I know Eric Pena. That's why I stopped on him. Played with him in DR a little bit. Um, where did we spend money? JC Cloney? Danny Duffy? Brad Keller? Where, where did where did we spend money? Where did we where did we improve on this team? Are we just collecting uh, luxury tax from all the teams who do spend money and then keep pocketing it? Is that what we're doing it? Because guess what, the Royals 2015 that was funded by the Dodgers, the Yankees, the Red Sox. You're welcome. They paid for your World Series that year, and then you went back to cheapo baseball. This team, this is a poverty franchise, and I want out. Excuse me? Jimmy, you've gotten this opportunity because we believe you're ready for it. But you're still a diamond in the rough. So take spring training very seriously and get everything you can out of it. A diamond in the rough from the brightest diamond that's ever shined. Is this a, is this a joke, Vance? Vance, this, this scouting team, this team, this team cannot be a World Series team with this kind of intel. It is not possible... To look at our roster and have $70 million sitting around and go, yeah, we're good. Just sign a replacement for Gerard Dyson in Malik's. I like Malik's. But yeah, that's it. We make that one move. We're a World Series team. We'll go from 25 ga 28 games back last season to winning a ship this year. I believe it. I believe we made the right moves. And, and Jivy, on top of that. Uh, you see that trophy back there, right above my head? You see that Rookie of the Year trophy? Yeah, but um, we still think you're a little uh, raw. You're a little raw still. We we think you have some potential, but we're not quite sure yet. Is this... I, ca I can't believe what I'm reading. I can't believe this. MLB The Show, is this, is this a joke? Do these games really matter, though? We're talking about practice. Practice, not a game. We're talking about practice. Let's work on fielding. Our hitting's already amazing. We'll sim through spring and not off to the best of start, but we figured it out a little bit. Listen, look at that. We sim through spring, and, and we end up having a fantastic spring. 329, five home runs, 16 RBIs, 393, and 671. That's 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 over. A th I can't do math. I, I, I want to be positive that that's uh, 393, 671. That's over 1,000 OPS. That's over 1,000 OPS. Fantastic. Just a, Just a great... 
<laughs> spring training from Jimmy, fantastic, just look great. Uh, and I, I don't even know what our record is, but I'm seeing a lot of L's. So that's not good. That's not, that's the, what, well, 13 and 14 top left. Uh, Colorado Rockies awful when we lost to them. This is just, this is not what I wanted to see. This is bad. This is bad. I, I was expecting, I was expecting to start off the season with a bang. I was expecting us, you know, maybe we should, we spent some money in the off season and we'd be ready for the regular season. But I, I'm expecting a lot of things, a lot of the same. We got Minnesota, Detroit. Chicago White Sox and Cleveland. What are the chances that right now with the squads that Minnesota, the White Sox, and Cleveland? Not nah, just I'm gonna use those two. Forget Cleveland and Detroit. What are the chances with Minnesota and Chicago White Sox that we can come out of this division with the squad we got? It's not looking too good. As a matter of fact, I wanna I wanna really quickly before we hop. I'm sorry it's taking me to hop so long to hop into games. I'm a little fired up. Um, Detroit. We know they're 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 in a they're in a weird spot, but. Minnesota, they got a squad. They got a squad. They've got, they've got, they've got a squad. They had, the, they got one of their big hitters who retired this year, but they've got some hitters on the payroll. Uh, we just got me, and then Alberto's the next best player, and he's playing behind me, and he's not even playing. Granted, he was injured all last season, so maybe we'll see more of him. But what he's best at, fielding and speed, he's probably is gonna he's gonna be relegated to doing a lot less since he's just DHing. We got over here. We got a rebuilding team with some with some good arms. There's some good arms here. I mean, you, what can you say about this team? They're not in a great place after losing um, after losing Lindor, but even still, Jose Ramirez, 97 overall, probably one of the best third basemen in the American League. Pitching staff, Bieber, Plezak, Karinchak in the bullpen. We've got Savali, D, very good arm. Eddie Rosario moving over from Minnesota, very good player. Luplo, Fran Mill. Uh, Oscar's pretty, I think Oscar's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Nick Whitgreen, Guillermo Marquez. This is a squad. We can't compete with this team. Guys like Emmanuel Clase in the, in, in the minor leagues with 99 Velo. This is Tristan McKenzie. Tristan McKenzie, once he figures it out, he's a little, he's a, he's a little raw. His control is suspect. Once he figures it out, and I'm talking real baseball as well. Once he stops uh, walking so many hitters and he figures it out, Tristan McKenzie gonna be a problem for ten years in the major leagues. The White Sox, we have no shot. We have no shot. Cy Youngs, no hitters thrown. Liam Hendricks, uh, Yasmani, Eloy, Lance, Luis, Tim, Rolong. Like, well, how can we compete in this division? And it's not even that I'm quitting. My front office quit on me. I didn't quit. My front office quit on me. Cesar Hernandez uh, just hit a walk-off today for the Indians, and now he's on the White White Sox. Jose Abreu, Moncala, this is, there's just no way. Look, look the list goes on. Collins, Keiko, Nick Madrigal, Adam Eaton, Adam Engel. The list goes on. Young Jockstrap Peterson. We have no shot. Garrett Crochet. 99 velo, 95 break. We have no shot. We have no shot whatsoever. Yo, when does it end with you guys? When does it end? We think your pitching is good enough for this level. We would like you to start as a two-way pitcher. No, don't ask me again. If you ask me again, for the love, if you ask me again. <laughs> no, Scott. I'd like to remain a shortstop. <sighs> Opening day at Great American Ballpark, beautiful stadium. We'll go back to Kaufman because Kaufman is also Kaufman's the most beautiful stadium I've ever been to. And I'm a Yankee fan. I love Yankee Stadium. I love going to Yankee Stadium, old and new Yankee Stadium. I'm a Yankee fan, but Kaufman is the most beautiful stadium I've ever been to. Aesthetically, it just looks fantastic, you know. But here we go, Sunny Gray. First pitch of the season, ladies and gentlemen. First pitch of the season, and I'm worth five hundred and seven thousand dollars. You telling me that I'm worth five hundred thousand dollars? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, here's here's what I got to say about this. You guys are probably like, oh, but Jimmy, there's a lot of players who are who are really loyal to the team that drafted them and took a shot at them. No, this is a business. They, they didn't take a chance on me. I was the best option. They drafted me. This team traded for me because they were in need of my talent. Alberto uh, got hurt, and they needed me to fill that void. Hanser 
and Adalberto were both hurt. They were in need of my services. So they traded for me. And I was blocked by Bo, obviously. But I have surpassed Bo. It is what it is. Two pitches, two hits. Five bases. 1.25. No, that's not 1.25. That's like... Five divided by two. Too much math for me. Yeah, I know that. I don't know where I was going with that because it's five divided by two, so it's not one point anything. Oh, man. Most teams, and I'll think about that loyalty as well. Most people who are loyal to these teams, quote unquote loyal, is when they got a fat check. Sure, I'll stick it out here in, what's, a, what's an awful city? What's a, what's a terrible city? No, I was gonna. Nah, sure, I'll stick it out in in Cincinnati. If you're giving me twenty eight million dollars a year, sure, sure, I'll move to I'll move to Topeka for no reason. You give me thirty mil a year. I don't think there's a T. I don't think Kansas is close to Topeka. We'll chop out to first. It was a three zero count. That was ball four. We're a little, we got a little bit too excited there. Top of the eighth, Jose De Leon. Uh, you know what? I may or may not have forgotten to turn fielding back on from the last episode. So that's why we haven't gotten a ground ball yet. But that's okay. We got a chance to get us this, get back into this game. It's tied. I've got two of our nine hits. No, seven hits for the top team. That's a good, good, good take. I got half our RBIs. Two out of seven of our hits. Half of our runs. It is going to be one of those seasons. 3-0 counts. We made a mistake last time. I'm going to take my hands off the control. I'm fuming still. I'm angry. And I apologize that the mood is a little bit sour. I apologize that I'm angry. But I am I am frustrated with this team. I am frustrated. I am I'm so angry with the Kansas City Royal. And what these small market teams do. They'll, they'll rake up money. For nine years, they will rake up money for nine years, be very greedy, be very, very, uh, very, very conservative with how they spend, right? That's what they'll do for nine years. And they'll collect luxury taxes from all the other teams. And the CE, not the CEOs, the owners will pocket all of that money. And then they'll go hard one year. Miami Marlins. Tampa Bay Rays, Kansas City Royals. They'll go hard one year. They'll go hard one year and they'll push. So no one says anything. And, and with all the picks that they've been collecting for, for nine years, they'll put together a solid squad. And it's a it's it's we're winning this year or we're losing. Winner go home. We're going all all for it. Oh shoot. Bottom of the night. This is a walk-off situation. Hold on. Sometimes, sometimes that team will get lucky and they'll win the World Series. And when they don't, and even if they do, they clean house. They get rid of everybody who helped them get there. We've seen the Marlins do it multiple times. We've seen the Rays do it. It is what it is. I'm going to get walked. Oh, I'm getting pitched. Hold on a second. Hold on. We, get, we might have to lean forward a little bit. Okay, good try with the fastball. We're a little bit early. We might have to be leaning forward a little bit. 1.66. That's the slugging currently after being two for three. Wow! Talk about a corner. Who threw that? That is a dot. Carson Fulmer. Uh, I, no, I'm thinking Michael Fulmer. I was going to say, don't he play for the Tigers? Carson Fulmer. Maybe I don't deserve to get paid. Maybe I don't deserve more than 500K. When he run on second in extra innings and I couldn't get the job done. Maybe I don't deserve to get paid. It is what it is. They end up, we don't score that run in the 10th. Um, and we give up a run in the 10th and we lose. We move. We'll move on to game two. We got a three game series, of course. This video probably very long. I'm sorry that I've been so frustrated. Normally, we bring the hype. We bring the energy. But today... I'm just angry with the Kansas City Royals. I hope you guys understand my frustration and maybe maybe it makes a little more sense why I don't want to be on the Royals. I've been seeing comments. Oh, you just got here. Why do you want to leave? We suck. We suck. 
we suck. That's all there is to it. We suck. And it's not just that we suck, it's we are okay with sucking. Some of you have never won anything in your life. And like, no disrespect. That's called losing. And I am not a loser. I like to win. This first season did not sit well with me. It's one thing to get to get bounced out of the playoffs, but to not even make the playoffs. Now that we even allow more teams into the playoffs and still not make the playoffs, that's heartbreaking. How I want to play baseball. I want to win a championship. That's that's the dream. That's everybody's dream. Every baseball player has the exact same dream, ladies and gentlemen. Every single baseball player has the exact same dream. If you've ever played baseball, all right? Game seven in your home stadium, bottom of the ninth, two outs, bases loaded, down by three runs, three, two counting. You hit a walk-off grand slam. Every single one of us has the exact same baseball dream. If your team can't get you to the playoffs, I can never accomplish my dreams. I will never be able to accomplish my dreams. So if I'm on the Royals and I can't accomplish my dreams, I want out. Yeah. We're getting carved. We had 28 strikeouts all last season. We have two in the first two games. That's insane. That's in As you guys know, we play on Hall of Fame. I did say I might drop that. I'm going to go all the way to one. Even though it was a pitcher, good pick at first, probably should have gone two. I may drop that so we hit a little bit better. You know, some of you didn't think that me batting 410 last season was very impressive. And I get that. All right. I get that. I think my dog Mighty Go bats like 500. Bobby Crosby bats like 600. So I get that. You know, I too want to hit 180 home runs, but I thought you guys wanted to see a little competitiveness. That's Oppo. And that's how we fly out. I don't know who's left-handed. Uh, Jesse Winker in left field. We're 0 for 2. Okay, so good game too so far. Not really. And we're down 4 nothing. We got CJ Cloney on our mound versus Randy Rodriguez. Some dude named Randy. But not the, not the other dude. That other dude destroys the Yankees. I, I'm going to be honest. I am tired of watching Randy Arrozarena face against the Yankees. It... it it hurts. It hurts being a Yankee fan. Jesse Winker, a lot of power. Some call him Barry Bonds. No one calls him that. But I'm here, and I'll settle under that. Chill. Chill. I, I, I said pump fake. Throw cancel. All right, 0 for 2. Luis Castillo is out there dealing. We got 95, 90. Who's on first? Oh, Alberto. I was like, who is that fast on this team? I didn't get to play with him. Last season, I, didn't, I obviously didn't get to play with him. He was injured for the remainder of the season. Uh, so, hey, I, I could work with that. I could work with that. We could work, you know, if I constantly have a guy, 95, 95, 96. All right, we are awful right now. And we are 0 for 3. We, we got one more at bat left this game. We started off hot with a home run on pitch number one. We'll come in a little bit. Pitcher spot in. Hit to my backhand. And we should have all day. Atta boy. Good play. And we'll end the fifth inning. And we will also go ahead. Uh, that'll be the last ground ball we field in this episode. We'll just play defense from after this. Jesse Winker. We'll just play offense. Lefty on lefty. Chris Bubich. Get us a ground ball. That's up the middle. Do not hit it. Ah. Luckily, he's able to recover. So no big deal. We'll end the sixth. Seven, eighth, and ninth. We've got one at bat left. I would like to not start off breaking the hit streak in the season after one game. All right, good take. We could also knock Luis Castillo out of the game and maybe ignite a rally. 98 pitches. We're 0 for 3 on the day. Jiffy World, you got to steal his girl. You have to, at this point, steal his girl. It's the only option. That's just nasty. It's just nasty. At this point, I don't even see it. It comes out of his hand. It looks like a fastball down the middle. And it's just nose dives. It's a great pitch. Luis Castillo, a good pitcher, obviously. I don't know what happened. I, I guess there's just some players in this game. It doesn't matter. I am unable to hit them. I was unable to get solid contact once versus Luis Castillo. And we take an L. What happened to game two? And we're 0 for 2 on the year. I, you know, I can't really talk much. I haven't been... I haven't been all that helpful to the team. We started off really hot in game one, and 
Let's bounce back versus Tyler Maley. We're now batting 250. 250. Two for eight. Two for eight. No big deal. We have a two for four game here. That's what? Four for 12. We're back in business. So we need a two. We need a, we need a two for four day to not suck. All right, Tyler. I got speed on the base. It was not even, it's not even Alberto. It was wit. So there we go. We got a runner in scoring position. I got to bring this guy in, plain and simple. I didn't need him to steal. I will take it. Home run number three on the season, and that one is deep, baby. Game three, we got three home runs. We're on pace for 162, 443 to right. Wait, that's home run number two. I apologize. I lied. That's only home run number two. I apologize. I need, I need to get one more. We are not on pace for 162. We're on pace for that number divided by three, multiplied by two. Whatever that equals, that's what we're on pace for. We actually got elite. Third inning, we're already getting our second at bat. Two, three more at bats, and we are done. Good splitter, good splitter. It's it's at 88. The fastball, 92 to 96. We got a we got a good hold of that fastball in our first at bat. Oh, Jivy, no. Oh, Jivy, no. I know I can extend and hit pitches out of the zone, but. That was a little too much. That discipline, we gotta be, we gotta work on that. We're gonna train, we're gonna work hard in the cages, and we're gonna do, we're gonna be better. We're gonna be better this year. That's my goal. That is my goal is to be better. Discipline. That's a good start. I know I'm gonna swing at the next splitter in the dirt, but that's improvement. That's baby steps. We like that. You guys gotta remember, we're 19 years old. We are a 19 year old sophomore. Give me a jump. Give me a jump. Let's go. Three home runs in three games. We are now officially after that fence scraper at 344 on pace for 162 home runs. We'll keep it there. And we're two for three on the day. So we're, we're on pace. We are on pace, ladies and gentlemen. I said I was going to get at this game to get us on pace. And we did that. We did exactly that. Jeff Hoffman. Kansas is up 8-4. Could take on that changeup. Easy spit. That's an easy spit. 364 batting average, 417 with a 1.1 slugging. You love to see that, ladies and gentlemen. Oof, oof. You guys got to just stop throwing fastballs. You see, I'm early on the fastball. Throw the splitter. Throw the changeup. But ah, I understand missing some pitches. Not a great PCI on that. Changeup broke back in. But we got it on the inner circle PCI and we popped it straight up. Ah, that grinds my gear. Two for four, batting average up to 409. It'll dip under 400 here or we can we can stay on pace for 400. Good take. I don't know why it says three. Oh, that was last year. We batted 333. Never mind. We suck. We're awful. We are terrible. Sal Romano, this is our last at bat most likely. I'm not going to lie. Probably should have let him steal. I was a little selfish of me, even though we're up four runs. You know, respect the game of baseball. Four runs is like stealing up by four. That's just unheard of. But truth be told, that's a pitch I should have massacred and I missed it. All right, Jimmy, we got to we gotta settle down, settle in, and take this ball for a drive. Good take. 3-1. This is another good opportunity to run. If you want to run, he just did a slide step. He won't do it two times in a row. Take off, Quavo. absolutely ripped that ball just got to sit back that's 93 and his main pitch is a two seamer so ah he throws 97 though i don't know i was gonna say he throws 97 i can't let him get another fastball by me let's go baby four home runs 413 through three games we got four home runs and i got paid 507,000. we are on pace for 162 divided by three multiplied by four that's how many home runs we're on pace for. That's a lot of home runs. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we did it. Oh, baby. Three home runs in one game? We start off one and two. But you know what? We did our thing three for five on the day with three home runs. Six out of ten RBIs. Not a bad day. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys understand my frustration. I'm sorry. But that's going to be it. Hit the sub button if you haven't subscribed already. Thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.